Good morning, observers. Today we've got looks at record-breaking weather. We'll peek in on seismicity. We've got two top stories to hit today as well, one on spraying the sky and the other on the electric earth. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where we'll find the definition of a very quiet day. No solar flares, no filament eruptions of note. The sunspots are massive and numerous but are like giant stone statues for the moment, visually imposing but harmless. There is certainly the potential for strong, even X-class solar flares from these active regions, especially the big one on the south. Got magnetic mixing turning out of the view to the right, leaving only that big one on the south with a chance to fire top-level eruptions. Does still need a bit more magnetic mixing in the middle. We've got eyes on it. Folks, the cold records are breaking so quickly it would be impossible for me to show all the news stories, but as we've been discussing the last couple days, major snow and cold event happening across the U.S. It's driven by a high-pressure setup pushing cold Arctic air southward. Jet streams are helping by reinforcing that flow and allowing the upper-level cold to enter, the door for which was opened by the polar vortex. You can see the highest-level pitching machine pattern forcing right where the dip was seen in the jet stream. Bundle up. Seismicity up next. Following the swarm we warned about the stride of Taiwan two days ago, the shaking moved west and hit magnitude 6 yesterday. Houses have collapsed. Moderate to strong damage taken in this event. Up next, excellent article about the risks of spraying the sky. What a terrible idea. Whether it's Captain Chemtrail at Harvard or soft, jiggly Billy Gates when he's not injecting livestock, this is one of the worst ideas humans have ever had. The risks outweigh the benefits, those benefits are uncertain, and the risks might be incalculable. I feel like most of you likely agree with this position. Up next, top story hits geomagnetic signals indicating the electrical conductivity of the deep mantle. It's another step down the road. After theoretical concepts, they have slowly proven the electrical conductivity via real-world observations at the crust, lithosphere, asthenosphere, upper mantle, and now about a third to halfway down the mantle. This conductivity is what causes the most upheaval when Earth takes the major electromagnetic blast from the sun during the magnetic pole shift. Everything inside reacts stupendously. Folks, I feel like most of you noticed the name change of the channel here. It's been needing to happen for a few years. This will always be the home of the suspicious observers. Feel free to refer to us as such, and if you want to put SO in parentheses like I have there at the end of your username or something else signifying your veteran and OG status, feel free. I'd be honored. Be sure to come out and see us this year as well, by the way. Lots of big events and observers everywhere. The journey begins at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 3.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.